Hello, everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. In the last episode, we made it across the ocean. Finally, we're here in a whole new world across the ocean. We're still in the same world, but on the other side of it, I guess. Anyways, this is the town of Combinat, Mortal Combinat. Anyway, we're done here already. In the last episode, I already explored this place. I bought some new weapons and decided I need to make a lot more money if I want to buy all the shit I want to buy. But for now, that money shall not be made. Let us leave the town and see what this world has in store for us. This other side of the world, rather. I guess we'll start by camping. All the people over on this side. They're like zombies or something. No spunk in them at all. They're like machines. Oh, a dink maybe? Doesn't this just beat all? Who knows what'll happen next, huh? Ray will fucking walk out of sight of his own body, apparently. Scared? Who, me? Ha! <laughs> I'm here because I want to be. I could have just stayed on the other side, you know? I was happy just being a highwayman, yeah? Um, he's talking to himself. It's kind of weird. Okay, so maybe I'm a little nervous. Who'd ever think we'd go off somewhere where no one has gone? Before, gone before, looking for God. <laughs> Sheesh. And what's up with this brood stuff, anyway? Who gives a fuck? The extinct brood, the god of the Urgans, were searching for an answer to a mystery that could change the world. If I'd stayed in Windia, I would never have experienced any of this. So basically everybody's kind of having their inner monologue as to why the hell they came on this journey with us across the ocean. It's kind of interesting. But anyway... But I bet everyone back home at the castle, especially my mother, they must all be worried about me. But being here is better than just being a princess, isn't it? Maybe. I'm just being selfish. What's most important for you is what you want for yourself. Sometimes. Sometimes, it's for the greater good. Think about how amazing it is that we may be able to figure out where all the machines we use come from. Is it Momo's turn? Mm. Momo's turn! I wonder what my dad would say if he were here. Every engineer dreams about Solving the mystery of the machines. And I'm going to do my best to see that it's me who finally solves the puzzle. Okay. You do that, Momo. You do that shit, girl. We don't have much going, have much to go on. But I'm sure that the power of Dace will, uh... The power that Dace... I'm sure that the power Dace gave us will show us... The way again. Sorry, I'm like, what the fuck? Twas the big day, Ryu. Hey! Twirls another yawn, eh, Ryu? Anyway, we don't need we don't need intra introspection from Ryu or Gar. We know why they're here. It would have been interesting if they did a freaking Peko part, though. That would have been funny, huh? Why'd the onion come with us? Eh, he's Momo's mascot. What can I say? Anyway, welcome to the Lost Shore, everyone. It's the east side of the world, or whatever. Uh, um, or actually, it's the north side of the world. East would have been Urken area, so this is actually the north side of the world. Anyway, this is Combinat. If we want to go back in there, we can. Not much to do for me right now, unless we want to go buy some stuff. Um, you can also look around over here, kind of walk along the docks and stuff. You'll find a... Uh, not a whole lot going on. Um, but you will see a fishing spot. In fact, I believe this is like the last fishing spot in the game. Maybe? Or at least one of the last two. Anyway, what kind of fish live in this unexplored land? Man of War, Flying Fish. I don't know and I don't know. Interesting. Both of the final two fish are both here. Alrighty then. Good to know. Anyway, not a whole lot we can do in those spots. 
Seems to be this place called Steel Grave over here. We'll check that out in a minute. Let's keep looking around, though. Oh, hey, look. Look who happens to be on this side of the world. Mr. Yggdrasil. Let's go visit him. I don't think you can actually do anything with him as a master. But you can at least go visit the tree and be like, Yo, what's up, baby? What up? And also, at this one, there's a brood gem. Chrism. Whatever. Trance Gene! Yay, we got the trance. Now you can dance, trance, hip-hop, rock, pop. <laughs> it don't matter, it's hot. We call it music, music, music. Uh. We make songs that are catchy and keep you connected like Tetris. All right, anyway. Oh, you know what we need to do? You, this is what we need to do. We need to go a uh, fairy visiting because we fought a shit ton of battles on that ship before we crossed the ocean. Or while we were crossing the ocean, rather. I think it's time we turned in. They're probably all old and dead now. Watch. I bet you I lost some fair. No, I probably didn't lose any. I have too many hunting to have any dead. We got three new ones. Fantastic. And we increased the village size. We rose the culture level. We've discovered some new work. And we got some new ma mer 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 merchandise. Um, village yeah, increased the village size. I believe that means they've cleared some more space. Indeed they have, so that means there must be new building spots. Let's start by assigning some new work, and then we'll look around. Help us, help us, why do you gotta say the same thing every time? She should just start off with, you know what to do, right? And then boom. She shouldn't say, help us, help us. We already know. Anyway, we got uh, new space, so let's just start building, huh? Let's put, let's put all these bitches to work. Remember, they don't clear new space until they've built new space. So let's build some shit, huh? Build all that you can. Alright, what do we got? We got a new red person. You can go do that. Hold on, let me scroll to my... My fairy guide real quick, just to double check. Yeah, red, hunting, and green is literally building and clearing. That's all I can do with them. Once, once that has been dealt with, then we are good. Um... I'm probably just going to leave these other fairies unassigned. I'll make you hunt, just to be on the safe side. Always got to make sure you have enough hunting based on how many fairies you have in the population. Um, yeah, that's probably fine. Are any of these high-level green? I guess you are and you are. Yeah. All right, pow, you can build. Um, yeah, that's fine. All right. For now, this should be fine. Let's uh, go ahead and look around, see what anybody uh, is selling. You sell anything good now? Miss Seller of Selling Things? Do you sell anything good? They got Bronze Sword and a Buckler. Wares are getting better, but only time passing can make the good stuff show up. Um, and you're over here thinking of culture or whatever. So yeah, let's let that keep going. And yeah, that's all we can really do right now until we have some new houses to assign some new shit. But main thing was we just need to see if there was new fairies and stuff. Which there was. So cool. And new areas to build. Which there is. So cool. Next time we come back here, hopefully, they'll have built some new houses that we can start assigning some more new places, new jobs, and whatnot. Alright, cool. I'm glad that I almost forgot I was needed to check that. I'm glad I saw the fucking flowering there so anyways there's not really much else we can do here on this side of the ocean at the moment other than go to steel grave so let's just do it now this is kind of a short little transition dungeon all you got to do oh make sure you bring momo by the way um and then yeah just it's like basically we have to go through steel grave to get to the other side to look around some more that's pretty much all we're doing here but on this side of the ocean we're fighting a bunch of new enemies well a bunch assassin and a multi-bot the assassin basically looks like the tricker. The multi-bot is kind of a new version of a bot we haven't seen, but we saw plenty of them in Combinat that look just like that. Also, these guys do disembowel. That's not good. Uh, disembowel is a dangerous move, man. It's a, it's a, it, you saw what it does. It knocks you down to one HP automatically. Holy moly. Did we kill one of these guys? Saw him to deal with this shit? Good lord, man. And the multi-bot is defending, thank god. All right, Ryu. You gotta keep these bitches alive. Ray, you tack. Momo, you can rejuvenate Ray. Let's go. Rejuvenation! I mean, disembowel is only scary on its own to knock you down to one. Now you just have to look out for the little chip shot to finish you off. See? See? Aren't you glad I healed her? Otherwise, she'd be dead. I swear they always focus on Momo. Momo's a goddamn fucking sponge for damage, I swear. 
And I'm gonna leave that multi-bot alone until I'm done killing this guy. Yeah! Okay, we got him. Alright, now we can focus on multi-bot, which keeps defending, but I think once you've hit it a couple times. Hey, uh, um. Oh shit. Well, he's not defending anymore. He did ice blast. I don't remember if these things are weak to magic or not, is the problem. Oh, Ryu got an extra attack, let's find out. Okay, that's better. It's still not great. The main problem with these motherfuckers is they get reprisals like crazy, and it's not that's never good. Let's hope that he doesn't have too much HP, but I don't I don't know. Until we kill one, we never know. These guys might be worth running from, but I'm not hundred percent sure I remember. We fight the first one, struggle through it, and then we run from the next one, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. These guys are a little bit annoying. Magic is probably the best way to take them out. In fact, I should probably just knock them with thunder. Ray, Ray's got thunder, man. Wait, what the hell? He just healed her. Why did he heal her? That's weird. I figured he was almost dead. I think next time I'll hit him with some magic. 250 experience. Now that is worth it. Hence why we need to grind. I need to literally grind. I think after this episode, I'll finally take the time to do some grinding. I think I'll finally have the time. I was going to do it between this, like between the last two episodes, but I realized we just got to Combinat. I didn't even show off the world that we're at right now. I can't, I can't friggin' go off and do other things in this area until I show it to you guys. <laughs> I had, to, I had to hold off on the grinding. But I'm pretty sure after this episode, I should be able to take the time to do some grinding. I should be safe on that regard. Anyway, we need to fight more of those guys. Those guys are easy to kill. And they give a nice little chunk of experience. Not bad monies. Anything that's not too hard to kill is nice. Anyway, let me check the ladder first. There's actually a few good items here. That's why you want to make sure you look around. Anyway, UV glasses. I think those, like... They either increase accuracy or they keep you from being blinded. Or... Do they do neither? Let's find out. UV glasses. They do... Oh, are they actually a helmet? Oh, shit, they're a helmet. Oh, and they, they do protect from blindness, as I thought, but they're a helmet. Well, you know what? Let's put them on her. Why not? I guess if there's anyone who do really doesn't need to be blinded, it's Momo. And who cares if she's slowed down by one? She's already the slowest. All right. Do I want to go up this ladder? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and then I want to go, if you look over here, there's a place to slide down, and I think over here there's an item, but I'm not sure where, um, is it back here? Hold on. There's an item over here somewhere, but you can't see it without checking your angles. Audrey, huh? Fucking Audrey. Isn't that the name? I haven't actually seen the movie, but isn't that the name of the plant from... Uh, Little Shop of Horrors, I think it's called. Is that why it's called Audrey? I never knew that playing this game originally as a kid, but obviously now as a grown-up I understand what Little Shop of Horrors is, even though I haven't seen it. Interesting. Alright, let's try lightning on this asshole and see how good it does. Oh, or I'll get a crit hit and he's gonna die no matter what. We won't get to actually test how good lightning is. Well, we can see how much damage he does when I'm talking about. 49, that's actually pretty good. Alright, I might do that against those guys from here on out. Anyway, hell yeah. Level up full Mr. Ray. Yeah, we need to figure out a way to get back to the other masters so we can actually turn in some of the shit and learn some new abilities. Ooh, speed boots. Now that's what I'm talking about. Anything to increase agility. Also, oops, I didn't mean to go into that little thing. I haven't actually shown that, have I? You press start, you can like have a cursor and look around. It's very strange. Um, raises chance of speed, speed boots. Yeah, hell yeah, we're putting that on Ray. I want Ray to be like hella fast, hella fast. All right, one more item here. I believe if we run past these, then do we have to go down the ladder? Oh yeah, right way. Okay, cool. Should be all. Let's go down the ladder. Apparently it takes a long time to go down. Switch to Momo. This is why you want Momo in this area. And see this broken ass door? Booyah! And this will be the most useful treasure, at least for me. God damn it. Fucking spoiling it. Making me have to wait for a whole battle just to fucking see what's inside. Ray is faster than Ryu now. Hell yeah. Um, you know what? 
I'm just gonna hit him with some lightning. Why not? That means Ray and Ree will both get extra turns, possibly. Maybe not in this round, but you know, more often. Probably shouldn't have done Thun Lightning now that I look at that. I don't know what Audrey's capable of. See, Disembowel's annoying, but I don't know what Audrey's capable of. Fuck, man. Disembowel always works or what? Jesus. I got rid of Audrey. I guess that's good. Ray can attack. Ryu can heal. Ray, I guess. Momo can heal herself if she lives long enough to tell the tale. Eddie Poo. Rejuvenate. Oh, yeah, and you can tell by the fact that I'm using up my AP here. I don't care. Um, we're not worried about a, a boss fight in this area. We're actually almost done here. As soon as we grab the item in this, in this room, I just blew open. We're free to fucking finish this place off and get the hell out of here. It's pretty much, a, like I said, a short transition area to get from one side to the other. That's all it is. But it's a nice place to do some fighting, other than these assassin guys. I need to see if there's an area where you don't fight these guys, because those guys are very annoying. Keep knocking me down to one HP. You're gonna annoy the shit out of me, bro. Seriously. All right. Anyway, tons of experience and money, though. I'm loving that. So I may grind here for a while, off screen. Maybe. We'll see. Anyway, we're in this room. We're here to grab this, the spanner. It may not sound like anything interesting, but actually, it's a fishing rod, and it's pretty sweet. Um, I'm pretty sure it's better than the, uh, the deluxe rod, right? So I can, I can confirm that in a minute. We can go fishing with it. Um, I was going to say we shouldn't go fishing for the final hardest fish to catch uh, until we have two things. One is a better rod. I think the spanner actually might be good enough. Um, there is a master rod in the game, which I think is the actual final rod you can get. There might be one other rod I'm forgetting, but I think the master rod is the best rod in the game, which I don't even think you get until you go to, like, the final dungeon or one of the final dungeons. It's kind of annoying because, you know, you get that and then you gotta go back to the fishing spots if you want to use it. But I'm pretty sure the spanner is capable of catching the last two fish in the game, no problem. Um, but you need a certain, uh, what you call it, certain bait to catch at least the fi the hardest fish in the game. You need a certain bait. So, until we get that bait, I'm not going to even try to catch the uh, last fish. But I might go fishing just to show you guys um, what the spanner is capable of, which I can do after we're done here. But first we have to murder Audrey. Sorry, Audrey, I've murdered you twice before. This will be the thrice times, I think. I actually might have murdered her more than that. I just lost count. I don't know. We might get to the fishing thing today. I don't know. The fishing thing's not that important until we can actually catch the final fish, so I'm not tripping. Anyway, to get the hell out of here, you just follow the dirt path and left or right, I don't remember. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Just follow the dirt path till you're out of here. Alright, Ray. Alright, Ray. Show the bot who's Bob's. Let's see what it does. Eh, it's pretty good. Better than his attack, so I can't hate on that. Hey! Andre! Uh-oh. Did I enable Thunderclap by hitting him with thunder? I might have. I'm just gonna avoid doing that again and just attack him. Damn. Ray's attack is so low against this guy. It's so low. It's so low. Anyway, finish this multi-bot bastard off. Yeah, see, the only reason I might not grind in this area is because of the, these guys, but if I find that a certain magic spell does well against them. I might, I might do some leveling, especially for Nina. It'd be nice to level up Nina a little bit more. Uh, it truly, truly would. All right. Anyway, let's just get the fork out of here. There we go. We made it. All right. Now that we've crossed through the Steel Grave. I don't believe we ever have to go through there again. I believe we are able to just walk right through there, no problem now. All right, we're good. Okay, now that we're on the other side of Steel Grave, you'll see some kind of place over there on the other side of this uh, cliff. You can't go down there, though. The only other place we have is this other place called the Colony, and it looks very much like the Lighthouse. Now, this place is kind of a dungeon, but it's really not. It's kind of a short... I guess we could call it a dungeon, but it's short. It's short. Anyway, but you got to bring Momo here, too, by the way. You need Momo for all of this shit here. 
And it's only kind of a dungeon because there is fights here. And there's a treasure over there. You see it? You see it? You see it? You see it? What's that? Mm, looks like a satellite. Maybe Dish Network. Maybe uh, maybe a little bit of that uh, Direct TV. Maybe if we take a closer look, we can figure it out. You mean you can figure it out? I ain't gonna figure out shit. In the meantime, we'll fight some random battles. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this place is actually home to one of the super uh, enemies that you can run into. And um, I might be mistaken on that, actually. I know there's an enemy that looks like one of the super enemies here, but I don't remember if it's actually the super enemy. No, well, if we run into it, we'll, we'll, we'll see. But I'm, There's a couple of super enemies that you can randomly run into. But anyway, check this shit out. It's one of these teleport fucking panels again. It looks like the same device that was in the basement of Windia Castle. Hell yeah, it does. So, if we use this, it looks like we can go anywhere we want. Oh, shit. All right. You found a key. All right. There's a key on top of the panel. All right. Good to know. It was actually kind of very inconspicuous there. I barely even could tell the panel or that the, the satchel was sitting on there. It's kind of interesting. So, anyway... We found a teleport spot. I think you guys can probably uh, put two and two together and figure out what that means for us. Remember how we had to get across the ocean just this time? Well, guess what happens next time? How do we get back, I wonder? Hmm. Hmm, hmm. It's not a point in no return, is it? No, it's not. Anyway, you grab the key. Now you want to go this way, I believe. All the way downstairs? Hold on. Left down the stairs. Um, actually, we might want to jump off this ledge. Oh, this ledge right here. This ledge. And then walk over here. Ah, yes, of course. That is why. Because there is another purple crystal over here. Just taunting me in the battle. Ooh, Toxic Man. Can I hit these guys? I don't remember. Okay, yeah, we can hit them. No problem. Toxic Man, who's apparently weak to Ryu's sword. Holy crap. He just did 200 damage with one hit. That's crazy, bro. Is it because he's got a holy sword and they're poison dark or whatever you want to call it? Are poison people against holy? Oh, they don't have that much HP anyways. Damn Ryu then. Damn Ryu then. It's one ray. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Why are you all strong and shit, bro? Seriously, what the hell? What the hell? I just had to do like 500 damage to that motherfucker. What the hell? Crazy. Ryu's level 28 now, so that's cool. Dude, there's no way in hell we're not done with that damn fairy master by now. We gotta be. Gotta be. You know, I probably should have healed before I came in here. I guess I didn't use up that much of my MP. I mean, I used up quite a bit, but not too much. Oh, sorry. Something incredibly powerful, the brood. Yeah, only one person can actually do anything with these. That's my boy Ryu! Failure, Gene. That doesn't sound useful. It sounds like a failure. Oh, well. Um, do we want to go in this room? Wait, do we just... Check these things? Guess not. Oh, wait. There is a thing on the ground, though. Remember how I said we need the, one of the best... Uh, we need to get a new lure before we want to go fishing for the best fish in the game? Well... I may be a little bit ahead of myself, but maybe we'll find what we need here in that bag on the ground. But we shall see. Shook Abe. Right, toxic man. Toxic man! Get wrecked. Alright, so this other guy, this other toxic man, is he like... Yeah, see, he's got a lot more HP than the other one. Interesting. Why is... Well, that's weird. That, like, sir, like, is it just one of them every time you fight a group of them? That's interesting to me. I think I kind of remember this, but I don't remember why that is. like a different version of the Toxic Man. Strange. Very strange. Anyway, let's pick up this damn item. It is a Deep Diver. Yup. That is the best lure in the game, or at least the one that lets you catch the highest level, hardest to catch fucking fishes. So now we can do that, so which is always good. I think I'm going the right way. There's one more item we could pick up around here, and then we just pretty much gotta figure out 
what we got to do here to activate the teleporter. Because we know there's a teleporter here, now we just have to figure out how the fuck to get it to work. Because there was no, like, there was no panel inside that room, if you didn't notice. I didn't really look around the whole room, but there was not really a panel to activate the portal in the room. So we have to figure out how to activate that shit. If I'm not mistaken, it should be over this direction somewhere. Can we go in here? Just a fucking room? Okay. Interesting. Oh, hey, look. It's a fucking Codger. This is not the guy I was thinking it was. But I'll just tell you now, there is a super boss in the game that... I, call, I'm, I was calling him like a super... I don't know. I should just call him a super boss. Because he is. You know, like, those kind of random battles where you fight, like, an enemy that's actually harder than the final boss or whatever of the game? Well, there's actually two enemies like that in this game. Or you can randomly run into them. I don't think you fought one in this colony area, but I'll just tell you now that that Codger guy, he is the same sprite as one of the super bosses in the game. And actually, I think the other super boss is the same sprite as the, you know, the bot we fought back at the... Oh, I shouldn't have went this way, huh? Wait, where am I going? Hold on. Oh, I think I was supposed to go up here. Oh yeah, the other treasure. We already know where the other treasure is anyways. We already know. It's up It's up here. We saw the treasure up on the ledge. I'm stupid. My bad. My bad. Yeah, let's murder some more toxic men. Oh, I get it. There is two types of toxic men here. Because usually when you fight the same enemies, they all get listed on the same thing. Right? Right? Maybe there's more than two different kinds of toxic men. Wow, that's interesting. Maybe there's just a bunch of different kinds of toxic men that have different amount, different amount of HP. Because usually when they, you fight the same enemy over and over again, like in, if you're fighting three of the same thing, they just list them all together in one list. Okay, I need to figure out a way to get up there. I think I have to come from below. Um, but anyway, uh, but they're all listed separately as different toxic men, basically. Which is interesting to me. But I didn't notice that before. Also, I don't want to fight three of these guys. No, thank you. Um, I'm pissed off enough when I have to fight one of them. I don't want to fight three of them. Fuck that. Get me out of here. Maybe I'm supposed to go down from down here. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, I'm confused. There must be a way inside. How do I get over there? I know what I need to do for the rest of this place, but I don't remember how to get over there on the other side. What the heck? Yeah, see, there's two toxic men listed together and then one by itself. Do you see this? What I was just explaining? Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Alright, so I think what I did wrong... Is there's a door on the other side, or some kind of staircase or something that leads us around to the other side? I think that might be where I'm, why I'm going the wrong way. I don't know. Let me just... I'll have to check. I'll have to check. On the positive side, as soon as we do this, we should be able to call it an episode, so that's good. By this, I mean activate the teleporter thing. In fact, I'll probably just show where the teleporter goes, even. It just depends how long this takes, because of how many battles I have to fight. Good lord. Good lord. The random battle right here is a little bit annoying. Maybe I do have to go from the top, no? Nah. Where the fuck am I going, man? Oh, I'm running from this, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Do -do -do. My god is not that clear. Except for it should be. Okay, maybe... Hold on. Am I supposed to come from... I'm a little bit confused. Ooh, it's two codgers. Let's murder them. Also, you'll notice that the codger, I didn't say this the first time, but he's actually the same sprite also as Migus, the, our, uh, our master. Master Migus from the beginning of the game. He's actually the same sprite as that guy. Which is also interesting. You did. Die. Ah, you die. Magic sh magic kerfuffle shuffle. I think that's just like a random magic spell, which apparently he did a really good fucking fire spell. 
Oh, plus she's weak to fire. Uh, I don't have her thing to make her immune to fire right now, so she's extra weak to fire. Almost forgot about that. Forgot about her extra weakness to fire. That's no that's no bueno. That's no bueno. Okay, I'm gonna keep pressing triangle to go to the menu, which is not correct. I think triangle back to the menu in Legend of Dragoon. Alright, anyway, can I go in this door? It's locked. Looks like it could be open from the other side. Yeah, I know that. I was just checking. I was just making just checking. Just checking. Alright, I don't think. I feel like this isn't the right way. Hold on. It's gotta be though, right? Unless I'm supposed to go up these this way. Hmm. Oh wait, yeah, there's a oh I'm stupid. Never mind. Holy crap, that's a lot of thrashers. We can do this. These guys die in one hit, so I'm not even I'm not even scared of y'all. Ain't even scared of y'all. Get wrecked, homies. Aw, oh, come on. Don't be weak, y'all. Timed blow. Ow. He blew me on time. <laughs> Get rid of this guy first. This motherfucker. And then Momo can finish off the one she failed to kill the first time. You did. You did. Oh, come on, Ray. Ray, you li you li you ha leaving me hanging, bro. Bruh. You're leaving me hanging, bruh. Time to blow. Alright, just finish them off how you see fit, children. Whatever floats your boat or kills the fucking thrashers. Okay. Good lord, man. Okay, that was better than fighting more of those goddamn motherfucking assassinos. Assassino! Assassino! Anyway, this is the way we need to go. Most definitely. Baby. Most definitely, baby. Alright. One assassino I can handle. I can live with one. One is doable. Because one will die to a huh ha. To a you to ha. Dude, we already got 7k zenny just from within the episode. Imagine if I spend the time grinding off screen, man. We're going to roll in some money. Hell yeah. Anyway, we're finally where we need to be. But before we do what we need to do, let's grab this motherfucking treasure chest. And then we can jump down that ledge right there. You may not think it goes anywhere useful. <laughs> How wrong you are. You just don't know it yet. Damn, dude, Ray's gonna go up another level before we finish this place, too. Kinda loving it. Kinda loving it. Wisdom fruit. Because I don't think Ray is then with his master yet. He's the one that's behind. Anyway, welcome to this room. This is a fun one. Let's read the instructions, shall we? Hmm. Uh huh. Activating portal drive. Hmm. Activation key. I think we have that. Fuck yeah. Insert that key, baby. There we go. It's working now. Let's see. To activate the portal, align the reflectors to aim the laser into the fuse. Okay. There are... Okay. That must be where the laser comes out. And these must be the reflectors. So it's one of these reflector-ass puzzles. Okay. Okay. Then we use these reflectors, which are like mirrors. To reflect the beam. No shit. No fucking shit. Alright, so there's three lasers and a... Or three mirrors, rather, and then a thing. So it hits that fuse thing there. Got it? Got it. It's my guess that this portal drive referred to here is the machine we found that's similar to the one in the castle. Uh-huh. But judging by the output, this portal looks like it has a lot larger range than that one. Let's give it a try. The switch to align each reflector is on the stands there. Once we've got them lined up, we flip this switch and the laser fires. Got it? Got it. All right, this is a pretty easy puzzle, by the way. Let's get to work. So basically, this port, the, the laser is going to shoot shoot out of here. Um, how many times have I hit this one? Twice? Yeah. And then i got to hit the one over here twice. And then the one over here. Three times? That should be good. Let's find out. Let's find out, shall we? Yeah! We did it. That was hard, guys. That was really hard. 
So now the portal is activated. Yay. The question is, where does it go? Well, the only way to find out is go jump in that bitch and find out. But first, let's fight another random battle. They're my favorite con. The random con. More assassinos. Get them. Get them. Cease their existence. Thank you. Hey, for once they didn't do fucking disembowel on the only goddamn turn. That's nice. And you got blinded, so that's always good too. You did. You did. Man, Ray is rolling in it. Ray be rolling in it. He, he be rolling. He be he, he be rolling in it. Ray be Ray be rolling in it. Ew, uh, okay. Anyway, let's get inside here and find out where this motherfucker goes, shall we? After we fight one more last random battle, that's always fun. Gotta murder another Thrasher real quick. Duh. Uh, uh, der. Uh, der. Uh, der. Okay, let's. Get in there already so we can see where the fuck we are, shall we? Or where the fuck we can go, rather. We know where we are, but where can this take us? Somewhere new, somewhere old. Well, let's see. Question is, where are we? Relay point A. Due to antenna error, this station is locked into receive mode. Please check antenna before initiating transfer. Oh, lame. So apparently this relay point is broken. So I think we can actually teleport back to the colony, but we can't actually change where it goes. That's basically what that says. Anyway, where the hell are we at exactly? Oh, honey. Where are you going now? Good question. Let's follow the fucking robot and figure out where the hell she's going. Little robot. Little honey robot, where are you going? Oh, god damn it. Random battles first. Hold on. Thought there wasn't going to be any for a minute there. Hey, it's my old friend the Bolt Archer, which I hate. Yay. Wow, even with Ray's extra agility, this archer goes first. They must have infinite agility where they just automatically go first. That's unfair. Fuck a Bolt Archer. In his face. Anyway, where'd my little baby robot friend go? Baby robot friend, where art thou? Honey, wait! Oh, wait, what? Honey, where do you think you're going? You guys recognize this place yet? Wait a minute, isn't this... Hold it! If this is where I think it is... Cause it is... Indeed... We are indeed... This is still Beach! You know, in Urkin? Yeah, I know. Been there, done that. Well then. Just as I thought. The machine guildsmen were surprised to see me. They wanted to know how I got in. Doesn't this just beat all? After all that trouble to get across the outer sea, we end up right back where we started. We'll never find God at this rate. God damn it. Hmm. Yes, it looks like we're back to square one. What should we do now? Amazing! With that portal machine, we traveled all the way back, here in the blink of an eye. Maybe the world's not as big as we think it is. That's it! Portals are relics! From an ancient times, from God's times, time. Think about it, the world must be pretty small to God. Yeah, he's fucking God. It's just his marble game, we know this. God, hmm. Or the people who made the machines, rather. Must have used these portals to travel around the world. No shit. <laughs> God damn it, I'm yawning. Stop yawning, boy. In other words, you're saying that God and the machines are connected somehow. Well, I don't know for sure, but... Perhaps the machines are a gift from God. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, okay. See, maybe by using the portals, we could travel right to wherever God is. 
Oh, sounds like a fucking plan. First, let's check out the portal. Where we just arrived. Come on. But I don't wanna. Can I leave? Like I wanna I wanna go back to the west side of the world and look around for a little while, can I? Or the south side of the world. Can I do that right now? Yep, I think I'm able to. But first, we gotta find some bolt bitches. So and I say bolt bitches because it's almost guaranteed to be that. Um, we're back at Steel Beach, so we're back on the south side of the world. It literally took us a whole episode to come back after fucking taking so many episodes to finally cross the fucking ocean. We're back in a blink of an eye. It is kind of a pain in the ass, but it's pretty plain the obvious that we can use the teleporter to go other places around the world. And we just have to figure out how to use it. Basically, um, how to uh, decide what destination to, t to make it teleport us to. That is the real key to mastering that which is the teleporter. But we're gonna save the fixing of Relay Point A for next time, yeah. Relay Point A is the antenna's fucked up or whatever. That's pretty much, spoiler alert, we have to fix the Relay Point so we can use it for the, the teleporter to, and our, to our own needs. But anyway, we're back on this side of the world and I figured we'd do a couple little small things before we uh, call it an episode. One, we should go back to the flower, or the, the fairies, which I will do. But two, I want to go to the masters for everybody real quick. And just check on abilities and see if Momo and Ryu are done. And let's see if Ray is, how far along Ray is. I know Ray ain't done yet. Because remember, we just barely put him on a master right before we crossed the ocean. Pandara, has Ray learned anything good? What can I help you with today? In honor of your continuing training and faith in God, I reward you with this gift. Ray learned Purify. Well, that's an okay spell, I guess. I mean, it's literally just the fucking poison heal move, but that's cool. Anything else? Sir? Sir, do you have anything else? What can I help you with today? Oh, nope, that's it. Alright, so Ray hasn't gone up enough levels to even learn the second move yet. Alright. That's fine. He should be close, though. I bet you one more level up and he'll get there. I think it's like levels 2, 5, and 8, I think. I don't know. I still haven't fucking made a master list. I really need to just do that. I'm procrastinating so hard on just adding the master list to my already, you know, growing guide. Anywho. Um, okay, so we, Ryu is under the fairy and Momo is at Yggdrasil, which means we need Pekko to even do this shit. Alright, that's fine. Alright, Q. Q, Q, Q. And there's actually some new masters I'd like to show off, but I don't think I'm going to do that right this moment because... Why am I not going to do it? I'm not going to do it right now because I can't switch anybody's master right now until they're done. So if Momo and Ryu don't finish right now, they're going to be stuck on Yggdrasil and Mary Leap respectively for a little while longer, which isn't the worst thing in the world. But I would like to switch them off soon, which would be nice. Particularly Momo. I'm kind of sick of having her on Yggdrasil, so I'm hoping she's done. So let's get over there and fucking hopefully. Also, like I said, we need to get Pekko. So let's grab Pekko real quick and fucking do it. I don't mind having Ryu be on Mary Leap for a little while longer just because agility is always nice. So I don't hate on that for sure. Four score and seven more, that's for sure. Change. 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 Put my boy Pekko in the pate. Change. 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 Let's get my boy Pekko across to fucking headbutt some shit. I'll just check Ryu first since it's right here. So what I'm thinking about doing when I grind is I'll probably just put Gar and Nina in the party and we'll go grind for money and let, let, let them do some leveling to catch up. Although if Momo is not done right now, I might use Momo some more because I'd love to finish Momo off for some Yggdrasil. So I'm really hoping between today's episode and next episode, I had, do have some time to grind. I would really love to have some time to grind so we have some shit done for the next episode. Or at least I can buy, mostly I just want to buy shit. I want to be done with a couple of the masters, and I want to be able to go buy shit. I need more money. I want to go back to Combinant and buy a bunch of weapons and shit. But to do that, I need money. And I've got a good chunk of change in this episode. I already, I think I already got over 100k. I'm also thinking I might go spend that at Emitai, but we'll see. Um, 
I mostly just need to go grind for money. Uh, not money, but for levels for Nina as well. I want to see how fast I can get Migas done. But anyway, Ryu. Oh shit, he learned another move. War Shout. I wonder if that's it for him. Well, either way, let me just make sure that that's all she teaches right now. Let's just talk to this bitch one more time. There are so many things we can show you. Show us. Oh, we're good. All right. So I'll check in my I'll check in camp after we go check uh, uh, Momo at Yggdrasil. And oh shit, you know what I just realized? I had, I fought that last battle, not even thinking about it. But hopefully Peko, I didn't squander his level one level up. Oh wow, man, I probably almost screwed that up. I just realized I forgot I was using him. Hopefully he he did get a good chunk of his first level up too. It was a good thing he didn't get it because I would have been mad at myself for doing that. Okay, especially since I haven't saved in this episode yet. I would have to do all this shit again. Anyway, nope, not a big deal. Alright, Yggdrasil. Hopefully you teach me. If, if Ryu learned the move just now, I'm thinking Momo should learn her last one, which I'm really hoping is the last one for her. And then maybe I will go show off a new master in this video. Because I'd like to, I'd like to start working on that if I can as well. Oh shit, Momo learned shield. Alright, cool. Sweet. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. Alright, let me make sure that was it. Double double talk to the tree. You've come back. So the time has come for me to share. Oh, shit. Oh, no, okay. Never mind. I thought for a second he was going to teach us another one. I should just note... You know what I should have mentally noted? Which masters teach you more than three moves? Because almost every master is three moves and you're good. But there are... There, for some reason in my brain we didn't I didn't register those those numbers so what I'm gonna do real quick so I just besides switch out Peko real quick so I'm gonna check my master list and see who's mastered anybody all right you draw seal done and Mary leap done sick both of them are done awesome okay so yeah awesome that's good that means I can switch Ryu and Momo, and I can um, start working on other people. Um, I'm just gonna put Nina in there for the moment. Um, yeah, so Momo, shit. Okay, I know who Momo's gonna have right now. Who am I gonna put Ryu under? Hmm. Well, my only other choice right now is Giotto. Unless I wanna put him on. I don't really wanna put him under anyone else. What am I going to do for you? I don't want to go do any grinding unless I switch Ryu to another master because I don't want to waste level ups. And Ryu's going to have the most level ups no matter what because he's your main, right? He doesn't ch his his shit don't change, you know what I'm saying? It might be helpful to go to Giotto with him because him having more a AP is a good thing when he does a session mode. Maybe I will put him on Giotto. I think Giotto only has two moves to learn too. Let me double check on that. I might put him on Giotto between episodes, but I, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to show you guys a new master that I haven't shown you yet, and she actually got spoiled already because she was on the stupid list for masters already, and I haven't even actually got her yet. Anyway, you can come back here and you can talk to Dace. And spoiler alert, Dace can be a master. Well, well, well. What are you doing here? Did you miss me that much? You mean there's someone who wants to learn from me? Okay, but only on one condition. You have to call me ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to switch Momo over to Dace. Dace is actually a really good master. She's very good for magic. Um, I would like to put her on Nina, kind of, but I don't want to put anybody else on Migus or Emetai, for that matter. So I'm just going to stick to Momo being under her. Momo can learn magic as well. Momo's not bad. Especially right now since she's fucking seven levels ahead. And, yeah. Dace, I believe, is one of those masters that does have more than three abilities that you can learn. So, just FYI. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Dace can be a master. That's all I really wanted to show you. Um, there are actually f five other masters I can get right now. Yeah, five. Not counting Emetai. Emetai, you guys already know about. 
but I haven't gone th and thrown 10,000 fucking Zenny at him yet. I'm probably going to wait until Nina's done with Migus to even bother throwing that Zenny at him. But if I go do some grinding like I want, I should be able to um, have enough money and buy all the weapons I want, hopefully. Ugh. Anyway, by the time I get Nina high enough level, I should have the enough money to spare just to throw at Emetai. Um, yeah, so, fuck, I guess I am gonna put, let me just, oh, you know, I, w I will put Ryu on Giotto, let's throw that in this episode as well, just because, just so you guys remember where he is and all that, because if you remember when I first got Giotto, I did put, I think, Rogar or somebody on him, but that's until we got Fall available. So yeah, obviously, like I said, the other Masters available are Emetai, and then there's one new one that you guys don't know that can be a master but we have met the character already um and then the other four masters i'm referring to uh, are actually now available because remember the hide and seek mini game well all of those guys that we play hide and seek with all four of them can be masters it's very strange um, I'll explain how they work later, because I really do want to work on them as well. They'd actually be the perfect thing to do for, like, a grind fest, but, um, I, I want to go to them and explain them, like, at the end of an episode so I can actually do it off screen. But right now we just switched everybody's masters and everybody's working on something right now, so that's fine. So, yeah, next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 3, hopefully I have some time to grind. Uh, mostly for some level ups to finish off some mastery stuff. Mostly I want to do Nina, possibly Gar as well. I gotta check where I'm at on skills. Wait, did I find out I was done with Fall? No, I don't remember. I'm I'm blinking. Was I done with Fall? Should I put somebody else on Gar? Oh my god, I just thought about that. I didn't even think about that. Should I be... Hold on. I think I did finish Fall, didn't I? I did! So I could put Gar on somebody else as well. Okay. Interesting. The only problem with that is the only other master I have... Actually, the other master that's left... I'm talking about that's not the four hide and seek heads. Um, I gotta double check what his requirements are for the last master because he does have a prerequisite. He's not the last master, but the other one I'm talking about. Um, but I might put Gar on him. Let me just look into it. Um, but for, I guess I'm not gonna use Gar off screen because if I don't put him on another master, I'm not gonna use Gar. I want Gar to. I want all level ups to go towards something. So. In that case, I'll probably just use Momo and Nina, or Rei some more, so I can finish him on Hondara. Yeah, that's good enough. Alright, see you guys next time. Peace!